Hey everyone, today, we're venturing into the future of high-speed data transmission and how it's set to revolutionize space missions and potentially even global internet access. Imagine data zipping through open air or space at record-breaking speeds, Ed Zurich's groundbreaking research using plasmonic modulators might just make that possible. Let's dive into how this could change the way we connect, both here on Earth and out in space. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. Breakthrough in Free Space Data Transmission Researchers at ED Zurich have recently achieved mind-blowing data transmission speeds of up to 424 gigabits per second over a 53-kilometer free space optical link using plasmonic modulators. That's the equivalent of transmitting the entire contents of your phone in a fraction of a second. But here's the real kicker, this is just the beginning. With more advancements, they're aiming for speeds as high as 1.4 terabits per second. To put that into perspective, it's faster than most of the internet speeds we're used to today. Chapter 2. What are plasmonic modulators? So, what's powering this incredible tech? Plasmonic modulators are the key here. These devices use surface plasmon polaritons, special light waves that can control and modify optical signals. They're compact, energy efficient, and can operate under extreme temperature ranges, making them perfect for space communication. Not only do they speed up data transfer, but they're also built to withstand the harsh environments of space. Chapter 3 how this technology can transform space missions. Now, why is this important for space exploration? Well, current space missions rely on radio frequency communication to transmit data between spacecraft and Earth. While it's effective, radio frequency systems have limitations, they can be slower, experience interference, and have a limited data capacity. This new free space optical communication using plasmonic modulators could offer a more reliable, high-speed alternative. With this technology, future space missions could enjoy faster data transfers with lower latency, improving everything from space research to deep space exploration. Imagine receiving real-time data from Mars or beyond at speeds that rival our fastest internet connections. Chapter 4. Potential for Global Internet Connectivity But it doesn't stop at space missions. This breakthrough has potential right here on Earth too. According to Laurens Kulmer from the Leuthold Group at ED Zurich, this technology could play a huge role in bringing high-speed internet to remote or underserved areas. Think about it. Millions of people around the world still lack access to reliable internet. With free space data transmission, we could connect more people than ever before, offering a more stable and accessible global network. And even better, it could serve as a backup when underwater cables break, ensuring we stay connected no matter what. Chapter 5. Future Prospects and Challenges now, with all this exciting potential, there are still a few hurdles to overcome. Researchers are working on improving the long-term reliability of these plasmonic modulators to ensure they can handle the extreme conditions of space for years to come. But the progress they've made so far is a huge step in the right direction. With speeds possibly reaching 1.4 terabits per second, and as the technology evolves, we could soon see global, high-speed internet delivered through free space optical links, all thanks to the innovative use of plasmonic modulators. Source. Optica. So what do you think? Could this be the solution to providing high-speed internet to every corner of the globe? Or perhaps a game-changer for how space missions communicate with Earth? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're as excited as I am about the future of space communication and next gen tech, drop a like and subscribe to Trendstorm for more updates on cutting edge scientific discoveries. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more breakthroughs in science and tech, and until next time, keep storming those trends.